up everyone we're here in Jersey City today it's Friday evening April 21st 2023 it's about 5 15 p.m. and the temperature is 64 Fahrenheit 18 Celsius I see we have a slow start to this live stream today not sure if YouTube pushed the notification or not that I'm live, so hopefully more people discover this live stream as it continues. Jersey City is the second most populous city in the state of New Jersey after Newark. And it's located right across the Hudson River from New York City's borough of Manhattan.
right over there. And not too long ago, I was doing a live stream, Pier 26. I was standing at the edge of Pier 26, looking towards New Jersey. Yes, hey, how are you, man? Just started doing a live stream, so not too many people are here yet, but. It's me, hey, how's it in the flesh. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too, man. Great day out. Uh, I've been watching your videos uh, since 2021. Wow, two year viewer here. Awesome, you live here or? Well, I'm, uh, I'm visiting. Oh, you're visiting, okay. Yeah, I just did the Fly Nyon helicopter tour. Oh, wow, yeah. I've never done that before. Uh huh. Um, I did the uh, the night helicopter tour before the parade, and then uh, now I did the, the daytime. The daytime. Yeah. I have to think about doing that sometime. The fly nyon. Yeah. Well, it's nice talking to you. All right, well, back to yes. Back Thank you. Right, see you. Brad 2023 says Newport Mall was near here. Yeah, we just walked across the street from uh, where Newport Mall is. I mean, the, the mall itself is behind um, this avenue here, but you can walk through the Newport Tower here to get to the mall. That was a nice uh, viewer that we had there. Visitor to the New York and New Jersey area. Just started this live stream. We had a viewer. Hopefully, we can get an unobstructed view of the city skyline once we get around this dock. Amadeus, really enjoy that ride on the Staten Island Ferry. I'm glad you did. Thank you very much. It's been a while since I took that ferry. One of the major benefits of that ferry is that it's free. Sebastian Equivera says, how did you get to New Jersey? I took the PATH train. The PATH train is operated by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, and it only costs $2.75 to ride on it. These geese love eating all this grass up. Oh, Shelly and Anthony, you didn't get a notification. That's what I thought. That's why there's a slow start to this live stream. I guess that's the sound they make when they poop because I just saw one come out. <laughs> Michael's asking if it's impossible to live in the Northeast region on $50,000 annually. I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it will be more difficult. You'd probably have to do a lot of sacrifices to live on that kind of a salary.
So my suspicions were confirmed. YouTube didn't push a notification out. Which is fine. People will discover the live stream as it continues. Jared is saying one of the benefits of being just outside the city is that you have views of the skyline. That's one of the benefits for sure. You can't see a city skyline like this if you're living in Manhattan. I wonder if that's a fly nigh on helicopter tour right now. Soup Explorer, we're not at the Colgate Center or Paulus Hook yet. I'm in the part of New uh, Jersey City called Newport. Basically a mixed use space. I think it's about 600 acres large. It has been a while since I visited downtown Jersey City. There's been a lot of changes here. If you want to see a map of the Newport area, it's right here. This is where we were. Newport Center Mall is over here. And then there's different areas. This up here is uh, Hoboken Terminal. And where I came from before was right over here. Jesus Ruiz, your sister used to live on Grove Street, Jersey City, close to Newport. Yeah, that's a big street in Jersey City. There's a lot of activity there. Restaurants, there's also a street there that's closed off the traffic. I've been to uh, several sections of Jersey City as well. There's also West Avenue which kind of resembles local neighborhoods in Brooklyn. And then you have the area of Journal Square. There's a lot of people from um, the India area of the world residing in that area, tons of restaurants. They even call that area Little India. You know what, before I go this way, I want to check out the view, see if I can get an unobstructed one right here. Oh, Barcy says it's possible. My ex-co-worker makes $70,000. He's 
He lives in Atlantic City, New Jersey for cheap and commutes to New York City for work. That's a pretty long commute. Krista Reed is excited for this video, very interested in the areas of New Jersey right by New York City. I'd actually like to explore New Jersey some more if I have the opportunity. A lot of people don't realize it, but New Jersey is the most densely populated state in the United States. Sometimes there's a little bit of a stigma with New Jersey and people who live in New York City and they don't want to come here because it's too much of a hassle or because they need to pay two different train fares to get here. But if you put really those differences aside and those disagreements, New Jersey has a lot to offer. Mary Reed says Weehawken. Yes, I've been to Weehawken before. I think I've walked to Weehawken from Hoboken. That was a fun walk. I think it'll be a little bit better if I uh, show the view from over there once I walk over to that side. Oh, hey, Seuss, you used to take the PATH train there. It's a very convenient ride from Manhattan. I really like the way this building looks. It kind of reminds me of the Jenga building of uh, 56 Leonard Street. In fact, uh, we can see its cousin right across the river. There it is. Looks similar, don't you think? 56 Leonard Street and then this building over here. Wow, Mary, you remember me coming over here on my scooter? Yes, that was a while ago. I remember taking the Staten Island Ferry with my scooter and then riding my scooter from the Staten Island Ferry through Staten Island, through Bayonne, and then coming here to Jersey City. And that's when my scooter ran out of battery. That was actually a pretty fun uh, day to do it. I think the French Bulldog needs to go. I notice a lot of pets here. We got a clear shot of Midtown Manhattan.
Empire State Building, one Vanderbilt Tower, Chrysler Building. See Billionaire's Row there. Bank of America Tower. There's the Huts and Yards Complex. Oh, Mary, we're by the Jersey City waterfront. We just uh, passed the south southern boundary of Newport. We're looking at the new port complex right now. Incoming Corgi. Alex says you should also check out some of Bayonne. I actually did go there. It's a very nice place. The Canada geese are pretty active. I actually feel bad for the ones who have made this lawn their resting spot because all these people coming out from this building walking their dogs, they may not take a liking to the geese here. Uh, Chris, I do not have any pets. I've thought about owning pets multiple times, but the responsibility to keep a pet, especially the way I travel, is not going to be practical. Unless I have a pet taker, which is not really a good solution in my book because the whole point of owning a pet is to spend time with them. I don't think I could ever own a pet when it comes to that um, responsibility. I get enjoyment out of uh, looking over other, other people's pets though. Wow, I'm just a girl, has three dogs. It's practically a 24 seven job. Oh, I believe it. They require a tremendous amount of attention. 
He needs to walk the dogs, clean up after them, feed them, and just give them your time, which uh, I don't really have, to be honest. It was a sunnier day earlier on, but it's gotten more cloudy. There's Battery Park City and the Financial District. Oh, for sure, Belmar Beagle. The geese droppings are what makes them so annoying. I've also heard that their droppings can be uh, dangerous for humans, too. I say over here, we walk on the streets of Jersey City for a little bit. I don't want to stay by the waterfront. Maybe we can get a closer look at this oddly shaped building. Andrew Morales asks if it's the same commute times in New York City from Jersey City and New York City from Brooklyn. Uh, that depends. Of course, if you're one stop away from Manhattan in either place, then it's going to be very quick, right? But if you're by West Avenue here in Jersey City, it's going to take you longer. So living by Exchange Place here in Jersey City, you can get to Manhattan in like 10 minutes maybe. Whereas if you live by Court Street in Brooklyn Heights, you can also get to Manhattan in 10 minutes just by one subway train or one uh, railroad train they call it, call the PATH train. It's not technically not a subway. Hamid asks, you didn't get the live stream notification, what's wrong? Uh, I suspect it's because I did two live streams yesterday. One, I had to end early due to technical difficulties. And that used up a spot for the YouTube notifications. YouTube only sends out three notifications a day max per channel. And I don't know when the timer for that resets, so... This uh, live stream went on and didn't push a notification. No, Alex, I have not been the Journal Square recently. 
I haven't been back there in a while. How's it going, Hong Mao? The Hudson Bergen light rail is coming. This goes as far north as Tonley Avenue, I think, in Union City, and as far south as Bayonne. It also has terminals at Hoboken and West Avenue. West Avenue is in Jersey City. Hoboken Terminal is just north of Jersey City. And it costs $2.25 to ride. Wow, look at this. I think the structure here is a parking garage. Andrew Morales says, looks pretty dead for a Friday afternoon. I wouldn't consider this dead. This is pretty busy. For Jersey City, this is busy. I see a good amount of people walking around, especially by the waterfront and on the streets here. It's a cool little cafe. If you live in this building, you can just go downstairs and have a coffee. Uh, JBL asking how many lines does this light rail have? Um, I think technically it's only one line. They don't label it as different branches, but once you go to the uh, station, you can hear that this light rail is going to Hoboken Terminal. This one's going to Tonley Avenue. I think the ones going north, they have to terminate at Hoboken Terminal. And then from there, you can take a l another light rail up further. Well, this is nice. I have to cross the street to uh, Use the sidewalk.
Ali BHG says, uh, was that an old factory building with the green windows? Probably. Hamid says, Jersey City and Hoboken are so underrated, nice places. They really are. I've been to this area multiple times. Keith Savage says, expenses to live over here also. Yes, that's the, uh, that's the fact for many major metropolitan areas. Although generally, Jersey City is less expensive than the uh, most desirable parts of Manhattan, like Midtown, Financial District. Even hotels can be found uh, cheaper here in Jersey City. Speaking of parking, I see people mention about parking. This is a pretty big lot and uh, doesn't even look like it's 5% full. I think something's going on with that uh, infinity. Yes, Cynthia, you can also take a ferry there from New York City. I'm not sure if New Jersey transit buses also go to New, Jer um, New York from here. Uh, Rez, the New York subway does not extend into Jersey City. However, there is a separate subway-like system called the PATH train, which is operated by the Port Authority, which you can get at several points in Manhattan that come here. And that costs $2.75. It's an additional fare on top of the New York subway system. So that alone dissuades people from coming here because they have to pay another fare. This is a busier part of Jersey City now. Yeah, Ali, Carlos Bakery is in Hoboken. I'm going to wait for a fresh walk signal though. There's a lot of cars here. There's One World Trade Center. Hey Jody Grubbs, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Appreciate the support. across the street before I flip the camera around. Appreciate it, Jody. Thank you. 
Yeah, Dino, that's true. The PATH train takes you into the heart of Midtown Manhattan and the financial districts. But if your destination is other than those two areas of Manhattan, well, technically not because the uh, PATH train also goes to the Greenwich Village and Chelsea. Then you may want to consider other transportation options. Ron says, you've never seen Jersey City, looks like New York City to me, but all cities kind of look the same to me. I mean, uh, if you put someone here, I would not fault them to guess that they are in New York City because it does really look similar. There's a lot of tall skyscrapers everywhere, cars, people walking around. One thing I like about Jersey City is that they have the light rail system. Yeah, Dino, you have to pay to go to Manhattan from the other boroughs. Unless you walk, of course, or you get dropped off by like a friend. Then generally you have to pay for your transportation. Ding, 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 ding. It reminds me a lot of uh, the MBTA's Green Line this light rail system. But I would say this one's smoother. And this light rail system, it gets a lot of passengers and use. That one's going to West Side Avenue. Oh, it's West Side Avenue. I was saying West Avenue the whole time. Maybe we could see the light rail boarding process here. Or maybe not, it's leaving. Ali is saying it's a long streetcar. Well, this is a light rail, not a streetcar. There's some differences between a light rail and a streetcar. But generally, light rails, they carry more people and they have a right of way. Oh, we can't walk by here? Well, this is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna have to walk through here to get past that fence. I'm uh, not walking too close to the yellow platform edge this time because if you saw what happened to me in Brookline and Boston, I walked too close to this and uh, my right foot was dangling on the air and took a spill. I still have the injury to prove it. <laughs> But I did one of these. I was walking here and my right foot was over there and I fell. 
you know I'm not making that mistake again. Yeah, BJP, no more falling this time. All right, well, here's the uh, light rail map. We are here at Exchange Place. There's one that goes to West Side Avenue, another one goes to 8th Street from here. Yeah, I'm not reenacting my fall, that's for sure. This one's going to Hoboken. Hey, Manny Explorers, how are you? I'm in your home state right now. You're right, Hung Mao. Hoboken is where the Sinatra uh, statue is. Oh, Manny, you moved. I had no idea. You live in Jersey City now. I got to catch up with you, Manny. It's been a while. The last time we met was in Montreal, of all places. And it was really by coincidence. I think it was like my last day there in Montreal and you were just arriving. Jody says you like their light rail system, it's great. Wonder why the pigeons like to hang out here. Oh yeah, Manny, that's right. I remember that too when we were here and killing all the lanternflies. You know the, uh, the hatchlings are starting to come out now, the spotted lanternfly hatchlings. In fact, are those spotted lanternfly eggs? Maybe, I don't know. They say like they resemble mud a little bit. I'm not sure, but you can see some of the nymphs now. They're, uh, they look different than the adult versions. They're a little bit more black, but they're spotted as well. They're easier to kill when they're younger. I haven't seen a nymph yet, but maybe I'm not looking hard enough or because they're too small that I don't notice them. But it's uh, one of the worst invasive, invasive species to affect the United States. And over here is a September 11th memorial. These are the actual steel beams from the Twin Towers.
9-11-01, a.m. They dedicated this uh, memorial one year after the 9-11 event. Hung Mao says the spotted lanternflies need to migrate before AK comes for them. I think I have a new uh, view towards them now because right now they've really spread beyond the point where uh, people are telling others to just stomp on them or kill them on sight. That's not going to exterminate them completely. Now it's more about population control. So if it's convenient for me to uh, eliminate one without me going out of my way, I'm not going to go after every one I see. I'll do it, but at this point, nature really needs to uh, take control of itself. I think there have been studies of certain birds being observed eating the spotted lanternflies, which is a, uh, a really exciting development. And then I was reading one article that said that birds are um, more likely to eat the spotted lanternflies if they don't feast from tree of heaven. And over here is 99 Hudson, this building here. This is the tallest building in New Jersey. And it's a luxury condo building. I'm reading that it's a 79 story condominium. It is 900 feet tall, 79 floors. Developed by China Overseas America. Maybe we could walk around the other side and take a look. Twenty first century says collab with Manny Explorers. I definitely should. I wanted to do something with him when he was in Montreal, but we didn't have enough time because I was leaving that day. G is asking, where is Jersey City? Is that still New York? No, Jersey City, Jersey City is a different state and uh, what the heck? Caution two-way traffic ahead. Oh, it's a two-way entrance. I thought it was only an exit. But Jersey City is part of New Jersey. It's right across the river from New York City though. There's a neat area. Seems like a pretty popular spot, the Green Hook Bar and Kitchen.
Here's the back of the tallest building in New Jersey. They're, they're doing an awful lot of advertising for it though. Studio, it's a penthouse condominiums, immediate occupancy. That's the view you get, or one of the views you can get. And you can get a hot tub like this. How about this swimming pool? My gosh. Captured with a wide angle lens, of course, to make it look bigger, but it still looks large. Sixty five thousand square feet of resort caliber amenities. Look at this rooftop. Ninety nine Hudson. Wow, we're getting a whole tour of the building amenities just walking around it. Here's their gym, I guess. It just looks like exercise bikes and treadmills, though. Look at this, even a dog, dog run. I can only imagine what kind of HOA fees they would be paying. Iron Monkey, cool name for a bar. I'm curious how much it costs to live there. Let's see how much a unit costs. We'll look for a studio apartment, I guess. 99 Hudson. Let's see. For sale. Well, uh, I couldn't find a studio, but here's a one bedroom, one bath. I mean, look at these pictures, it's pristine. $820,000, 775 square feet. And how much are the maintenance fees? Six hundred and five dollars. Wow. That's a lot of money for uh, one month. John says that's a deal. Yeah. A lot of money for HOA fees there. Connie would buy a house in South Jersey instead, it's cheaper there. That's just for a condo too, you don't even own the, uh, the land. This looks like a cool spot, Kava. East, East um, oh it says eat Mediterranean. I thought it said East. 
That didn't make sense. What I like about Jersey City is their bike lane system. Oh, John, you're from New Jersey. You've never been to Jersey City, but you now reside in Florida. I'm sure Jersey City looked a lot different when you moved out. There's definitely a lot less people and people driving here than uh, Midtown Manhattan. No, Jeff, I've never been to the rooftop of Exchange Place in Jersey City. Oh, Donna says if we uh, go to the waterfront quickly, we'll see a cruise ship. Hmm. Maybe we can make our way over there. Hold on, I have to sneeze. I'm gonna mute it. Glad to have gotten that out. Oh, I forgot over here we can't go to the water. I need to find another street to do it. Oh wow, 214 i5, a studio starts at 595,000. It's a lot of money for a studio. Looks like I'm going to have to go to the left and go around. 21st century with five pounds. Thanks Action Kid for exploring Jersey City. Something new and different to see. Thank you 21st century. I'm glad to visit Jersey City, give you a different perspective on the way different people live and work around here. Thanks so much. NJCU school of business and they have the uh, stock tickers going across the uh, screen there I don't think we'll miss this cruise ship if it does come in.
I guess I should cross over here. Wow, what a skyline of Jersey City. Emmanuel has to recommend La Regia Ristorante off of Meadowlands Parkway. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for the recommendation. Oh, Makesha, do you think the cruise ship docked this morning? Bar C says, lots better than New York City, more space here. Well, if that's what you're looking for, then Jersey City is an option. I hear a lot of people in New York City complain about the lack of space and how it's very overcrowded, so Jersey City may be a good medium for that. Eric says, hey boss, we got no gas in Miami. Wow, even still, it's been like a week and a half since those, uh, maybe two weeks since those rainstorms and I still can't believe there's no gas in Miami. All right, we're going back to the waterfront. The knee screen asking where are all the people you'll see them walking around keep in mind this is not manhattan so if you're comparing jersey city to manhattan there's not going to be as many people but this is busy for jersey city Oh, the tracking map says Costa's Deliciosa is off of Hoboken right now. Huh. Here's the Hudson River walkway. So I guess we will see this cruise ship coming down the uh, Hudson River then. Hoboken's right here.
Wow, look at that. There's a sailboat on the Hudson River. Let's see if we can spot a cruise ship coming by. And there it is. I see it. I'm going to keep my camera focused on the Hudson River here as this cruise ship comes down. You can't miss it. It's going out to sea. Yeah, ZC-322 is coming down from the west side of Manhattan. Yeah, Barcy, I'm not sure where this ship is going to go. And according to Dino 5, it's the Costas, Costas Line Deliciosa. That's the ship's name. There's actually a tugboat on the side of it. I'm going to snap a picture of it right now because I think it's the prime angle between the uh, the buildings. Whoa. I got some uh, pictures. Alright, this is going to be the closest point of the cruise ship to us. So I'm just going to stay here. We can get a lot of detail from this angle.
there's Lower Manhattan and the financial districts. This cruise ship is passing by Tribeca now and soon Battery Park City. Should get a picture from here too. Yeah, I believe so, the ABX girl. The Manhattan side gets a closer view of these uh, boats. All right, boat's leaving now. Now sunset is coming. So that cruise ship is going to Portugal. That's pretty amazing, all the way from here to Europe. Yeah, Rebecca, the sunset's right here. Well, that's one way to scare off the geese. <laughs> Michael says you got chased by a goose today. I know, Allie, the goose almost flew into me. It was so spooked by the dog. Devin, you had to fist fight a goose before. They can be very defensive, especially when they're dealing with their nests.
Now over here, I'm walking back to Newport. Mixed use development in Jersey City. I guess that's where I'll end my video. I'll take the train back into Manhattan from there. Ali says, swans mate for life. Yes, they do, because uh, Ben the Explorer from Boston Duck Tours said so. I wonder what they're building over here. Possibly another park. Yes, Richard, I believe these are condo buildings to my left. And I think these are uh, residences. They're smaller buildings and not the high rise ones, but they're still condos. Wow, he's not got a really fast sprint there. <laughs> Since I've already been here, let's walk down this way. I'll show you a little bit of uh, Washington Street, I believe, or Washington Avenue. Washington Boulevard, <laughs> I was completely wrong. Got a beautiful sunset here. Goose is walking in my direction. Hopefully no issues with this goose. Oh shoot. I'm just passing by man. That goose, I looked at me like annoyed. 
like it was going to charge at me and I was like wow I backed off for a second I thought it was going to attack me for real and then I said you know what I'm bigger than the goose I'm just going to walk on by and see what it does and you know what goose didn't do anything oh my gosh that was scary Almost had a moment there. Jay Fox is always erred on the side of not annoying geese. Hey. I would have told the geese, bring it. <laughs> Cindy Lou says he wants you to blur him out. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. The goose looked annoyed. All right, cool, bro. All right. I'll let you know. And there's a, there a dog park in my building. Oh, Here's the Westin Hotel. Might be uh, less expensive to stay here if you're spending like time in New York City and you just want to take the PATH train in. A lot of people stay in uh, Manhattan and they pay a lot of money for it. Uh, copyright music. Oh, here's the entire map of Jersey City. It's pretty large. It even includes Liberty State Park here. There's also the Heights, West Side, McGinley Square. I've been to many of these areas. And across the street is my train to New York City.
Oh, the light is changing. All right. Well, I guess I'll end the video here because I can wrap up this uh, equipment while we're waiting. While I'm waiting for the light. Don't put me on that camera, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Thanks so much for watching this walk of Jersey City. It's been a while since I've been here. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.